guys, where's up and welcome back to a new video. So guys, this is the seventh video in the Learn Python uh, basic series and uh, in this one, we're going to be looking at how we can take user input from the user to use in our program, a lot of users in there. Um, anyways, last time we learned about uh, variables and we learned about how we can assign variable values and then you know, use them later on, change their values and stuff like that. So variables are going to play a big part in this because that's how we're going to be storing the input that the user gives us, you know. We can take the user input, but if we don't store it somewhere for use later in the program, it's not really going to help us too much. Um, so before getting into that, let's just take a look at how we take a user input, alright. So user input work very similar to the print statement. If you have a print statement, like for example print um, what is what is your name right and uh, so I mean it's a question right but the program doesn't know that and so when we try typing in something it doesn't allow us to respond to this question and it doesn't allow us to print a value so that's why the print statement is only used to display information to the screen um, the input statement uh, the input function you write using the input word and then you write uh, a pair of parentheses and then inside this, you write, for example, what is uh, your name, right? And when you write this, you can see that it does print uh, this thing out, but it also waits for you to enter in something. So say, I enter in Bhavya, right? Um, so this will print out Bhavya because that is the input that the user has given us, in this case, me, right? Um, and so that's why input statements are very useful. So when you're making a game or something, you want to, uh, you know, make the user, uh, you know, have a decision or something. You want to uh, you roll a dice or something like that. Then you uh, want to use an input statement because input statements help you take inputs from users and you can use that input later on. We can assign variables to the values of inputs. All right. So say if I have a, a variable called age and I assign this to the input of what is your age all right and so this will wait for me to write to type in something before moving on to the next line of code so say let me um, say uh, 67 right so now it assigns the value age to this input so when we try printing out the value of age as we normally do with our variables we will get the value 67 and so that's how you can assign variables to input statement. All right, now input statements are gonna be used in a variety of projects. I think the next video is gonna be a project itself. And it's, it's really amazing what you can do with that. Now, let's make a simple input statement to take in two numbers and let's add them together, all right? Uh, let's add the number five to a user input. So I'll take number two is equal to input. And then I'm gonna put enter the second number right and say my second number is going to be six all right now i'm going to do five plus number two all right because i'm using the variable here i'm not using the value i'm using the variable so let's see what this gives us it should give us 11. no it does not give us 11 and that's because the input statement always returns a string all right as you can see over here, uh, all the type of the variable that the input statement returns are a string type, which means if you try adding an integer to a string, it will give you uh, an error, a type error saying that you cannot, you know, add integers and string. So that's one thing uh, where a lot of people I've seen make mistakes. They often forget to convert the, the answer, the input that they get from the user into uh, an integer so that they can use. And how we do this is pretty easy we just say number two is equal to the int of number two, all right? So what this is doing is, is reassigning the value of number two to the integer of number two, all right? So now if I try doing five plus number two, it will give us 11. As you can see, number two has changed to an int type, all right? Now, we can also put this in one statement instead of having your input statement and then converting that into an integer. What we can do is we can have it all in one line. So we can have number two is equal to the integer. And then inside this, we have the input. And then inside this, we have the question. So say, what is uh, the second number? All right. 
So now it gives us a choice for the second number. Let's enter in seven. And now when we add the value of five to number two, you can see it will give us 12. And that is because when we get the input, which is inside these parentheses, we are converting it into an integer, all right? So make sure you have the parentheses in order. A lot of people miss the, the closing parentheses. Make sure if you get an error, uh, then you're probably missing a parentheses, uh, a parentheses or uh, you know, you have put it in the wrong order and stuff. So this is a very useful one line trick to just you know, convert your input into an integer and then work with that input later on. Now we'll cover more uh, in depth about the input statement maybe in the future videos. But for now, this is the basics of the input statement. And in the next video, I will give you guys a project that you can finish and uh, maybe you can, you know, comment the code down below and I can get back to you on, you know, uh, how good it is or, you know, will it work and stuff like that. Um, anyways, guys, any questions related to the input statement, leave them down below in the, uh, in the description, uh, sorry, in the comments. And, um, you know, uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.